Hi, it's me again, and another new streaming service is coming to the people of Europe. Not England yet. So why am I talking about this? Well, it just goes to prove that there is a market for doing this, so why can't the BBC bloody do it? Let's take a look at this story, and I'll probably have a bit of a rant halfway through knowing me. You know what I'm like by now. Netflix and Amazon Prime Video are getting a big new rival in Europe next month. Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and Disney Plus will have to compete with a new kid on the block in Europe next month. In October, the HBO Max streaming service will finally be heading to six European countries. The service first launched in the States last year and offers access to critically acclaimed HBO shows such as Game of Thrones, The Sopranos and The Wire, as well as previously offering access to cinema releases like Wonder Woman 1984 in the States on day one, which wasn't a very good film, was it? But it's not the point. On October the 26th, HBO Max will be available in six European countries, which is Andorra, Denmark, Finland, Norway, Spain and Sweden. Then, in 2022, HBO Max is confirmed as coming to 14 other European countries. Which, interestingly, still doesn't include the UK, which is odd. Do you not think that's odd? I think that's a bit odd. Now, as I said, this doesn't particularly bother me that much because I've got enough subscription services already. I've got loads of the bloody things, so I don't really want another, especially not an American one. But the reason I wanted to talk to you about this is... It proves a point that there's a market for what are normal TV channels, which is what HBO was in the States, to become a global streaming service. And the BBC need to be looking at this, don't they? Why can't the BBC do this, become a global streaming service? And now they've got BritBox, which isn't that big in the UK, but it is quite big in the States. So maybe that's their first toe into the water for this sort of thing, don't you think? But they could become a global streaming service. They'd make more money. They'd make more money because instead of just billing the people of the UK their 13 quid a month for access to their nonsense services, they could build, build the world, couldn't they? 14 99 a month for access to BBC Plus or whatever they want to call it. I don't care what they call it. But do you not think? You know, they're moaning that they're skint and their, was it, 37 billion that they get a year isn't enough money to make their TV shows. Imagine how much money they could make if they became a global streaming giant and give Netflix a bit of a kick in. Just a thought, hey, in 2027 is when we're going to see the change with the BBC licence fee. And they've got to be looking at this and taking note and thinking, that's what we've got to do. That's what we've got to do. I think that's what they've got to do. And uh, as I said before, I, like, do that. But I still think they should keep like BBC One and their news channel, just maybe make them commercial or just subsidise them or something. I mean, the government subsidises a lot of BBC news anyway. They can probably get that up. A little bit, I would imagine, couldn't they? And then keep BBC One channel on free-to-air TV and just show repeats, which wouldn't be much different to what it shows now, to be honest, would it? But if you're waiting to watch EastEnders, say, you've got to pay for the streaming service, unless you wait for Sunday and you can watch it on the Omnibus on, on their TV channel with adverts in it. Hey, perfect. Why don't I work for the BBC? Hey? Tim, ring me. We're going to sort this out between us. I'm going to save your company, mate. Well, just a quick video, that's all I wanted to say about that. I just thought it was interesting that another TV channel is moving to become a global streaming giant. BBC's got to do it as well. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. We'll have a bit of a chat about it, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.